There's a spy in Camelot. Can you figure out who it is? Hey everyone, Kylie at Games Unlimited. This week, I want to talk about Quest. This is a streamlined version of the Resistance, or more specifically, the Resistance Avalon, one of the greatest social deduction games of all time. Honestly, the Resistance is the game that made me like social deduction games because it plays so fast. This streamlines it even more. We're talking about 10, maybe 15 minute games using a lot of the same mechanics to Resistance and Resistance Avalon. I actually even ended up calling this the One Night Werewolf version of Resistance. So what is a social deduction game? It's a game where ostensibly you're all cooperating, you're all on a team trying to get something done, but one or more players may actually be trying to torpedo the whole endeavor, try to make us lose. And if you can figure out who those players are, you'll win the game. So what happens in Quest? Uh, one of the things it can play with as few as four players. I've played it with four, it's great. And it goes all the way up to, I think, 10? Yeah, four to 10 players. So everyone's gonna get a role. So you are uh, loyal citizens of Camelot trying to go on quests to do noble things. Some of you, though, are going to be bad guys. One of you is going to be Morgan Le Fay, the sort of head bad guy. And then you might have other roles that want to help Morgan Le Fay. So, First off, you'll close your eyes. Uh, the bad guys can open their eyes and get to see who each other are. And then uh, each round there's gonna be a leader who picks some people to go on a quest. So uh, you're gonna have to complete three quests successfully for the good guys to win. So the leader chooses a certain number of people. It'll say on the card like, oh, this has to have two people go on this quest. Maybe they send themselves, maybe they send someone else, whatever. So they send people on the quest. This is where it differs from the original uh, Resistance Avalon. There's no voting on whether we like this group. The leader chooses, those people go. So they're gonna go on the quest. Each of them's gonna get a card that says succeed and a card that says, says fail. In order to succeed at the quest, all the cards put in have to say success. And if you're a good guy, you have to put in a success card. Makes sense, you're good, you want the quest to succeed. If you are not a good guy, you can put in a fail card or you can put in a success card because you might be trying to throw off the scent. If you put in fail cards too often, people will get wise to what you're doing. So uh, if two people go on the quest, they're both given their succeed and fail cards. They choose one, put it in, we shuffle it up, and we see. If they're both successes, great. We put a little success token on the quest. And as I mentioned, once you've succeeded three times, you win. Uh, but if there's one or more fail cards, then one of those people was a bad person. <laughs> and uh, well, we don't necessarily know who, the quest fails. And if you fail three quests, oof, then game over. So that's the basics of it. Of course, uh, this is a social deduction game, so there's lots of other roles. I forgot to mention that the leader gets to give someone this magic stone. And that magic stone means if they're a bad guy, they still have to put a success in. So if I'm the leader and I'm good and I suspect one of those people is bad, I'm going to give them the stone so that they have to put a succeed in. But if they're Morgan Le Fay, the main bad person, they don't have to follow that rule. So a uh, lot of room for interesting things, a lot of crazy roles uh, that you can put in, depending on if your group is having the good guys win more often than not or the bad guys win, you can tailor it uh, to make it easier or harder for one group. One of my favorite roles is uh, there's a role for the good guy. This makes it harder for the good team, but there's a role that if they're given the stone, they actually have to put a fail in. So normally good people can't put in a fail, but if you're this character and you're given the stone that says, if you're bad, you have to throw in good, this time you actually have to throw in bad. Um, there's roles for the bad guys that make it so the first three quests, that person has to put in fail. They don't have a choice. So a lot of interesting things, but as I mentioned, it plays lightning fast, 10 or 15 minutes, the sort of game you're going to play multiple times that really rewards you for that because you start to see how different players play. How does this person play when they're a bad person versus when they're a good person, etc. That is Quest. It's the resistance condensed down to a super fast playtime. I'm a big fan. Come grab a copy, take it home, unbox some fun, and go lie to your friends. I'm Kylie of Games Unlimited.